Yeah, we're going to have a look at the MyQuest trail. Um, so this is obviously, yeah, Mac, the guys that did the Oregon trail. Um, hey, Big Flop, how you been, man? Yeah, I've been good. Um, what are we doing? Learning my history, geography, and culture, strength in decision-making, research, and analytical skills. Um, yep, over a thousand photos, video clips, sound effects, and music to recreate the exciting trek. Yeah, all right. Let's um, let's pull it up and have a look. Uh, where's my display capture? Get a bit of that going. Uh, yep, and I could do my window capture again, wherever that is. Sorry, but I'm waking. I forgot how to play by the um thinger. My quest. Yeah. What do we got? Good man, ready to hang out? Yeah, you came here just in time, Blake. We're um, just at the start of this. So yeah, we'll do our three Windows 3.1 games and then we're going to try and finish Black Mesa. Um, guess we'll just jump straight into the adventure game. Can we make this bigger? It doesn't look like it. I like that music, though. Right? Bit, bit too gritty. Um, can we have a screen border? Don't even know what that does. Biking? Window size autopilot enabled. Okay, I think we'll need autopilot. All right, let's um, let's just jump straight in. See here we go. Oh, we're going to get some FMV though. The Earth is protected from meteors and other cosmic debris by a vast network of orbiting satellites and lasers. You fuck you, satellite. The crew of I mean, Skybase right. One vigilantly scan the depths of space. The defense network is controlled and administered by Dr. We've, Allen. We've come a long way from just trying to get to Oregon in a wagon. Returning from a hey, no, no, hey, Don. America. Welcome As in. Dr. Halley's space shuttle approaches, Skybase One transmits a message. Yeah, doing good. Doing very good. This is Sky Base One to approaching shuttlecraft. Please identify yourself. Over. Earth Shuttle Six here, requesting clearance. Also to weird because the next game we're yeah, playing Captain is Hellion like set in space as well. You've arrived just in time. The previous firing codes have almost expired. Captain, this is Doctor Halley. I hope that you'll take care to study these codes. I've based them all on we'll my come here and look. Well, if it's yeah, no worries. Shuttle I'd catch some big ones. Code. Over. Shuttle 6, take evasive action. A small meteor has strayed into the flight path of the shuttlecraft, putting it in the direct line of fire of one of the automated laser cannons. Oh, okay, and that's how the space station gets blown up. The shuttlecraft's radio transmitter that's actually has damage. Really good Only a time? That's a good shot considering you're in like, the infinite transmit. depths of space. Okay, so where, Welcome where do we go? Welcome to MyQuest headquarters. It's time to prepare for your adventure. Adventure! Yay! Hi, I'm Dan Butner. As on my expedition, people will send electronic mail to information. Try to answer any of these questions. The meteor defense system is experiencing. Oh, they're not bothering with FMV this time. A meteor shower is okay. heading towards Earth. We need you to find information that will help us reconstruct the codes. For now, take your bike helmet and await further instruction. Ooh, we got a fancy space bike helmet. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, cool. Are we actually... No, we're not playing yet. Okay. Oh, no, we're in now. You have a new message. Okay. So, all of this... We've got the advanced version of Google Glass, I guess. The big fancy HUD on their uh, bike helmet. Command accounts, Meteor Defense Command, Subject Missing Defense Code, Top Secret, Your Eyes Only. For this part of the code, we need to know about some S-shaped clouds. What? What the fuck are you talking about? You have a new message. Oh, the data suggests you should look at a temple in at Copan. Okay, so this is the hint button, I guess. Yeah, righto. Um, code unsolved. So, what are our options? We can... No, that does nothing. Uh, maybe I should look at the help file to see what's going on. We get a compass. No idea what that does. Right, so... Uh... Oh, we only get credits. Okay. Now that sucks a bit. 
All right, guess we're just meandering through. All I know is, yeah, we've um, we have to ride a bike through South America to find ancient Mayan temples, and then um, yeah, that's that's all I really know. I I have no idea what any of these buttons do. And these do nothing, that's just the sides of it. Okay. Well, can we have a, like, are we, oh no, we're stuck riding the bike, I guess. Okay. Cancun, Chichen Itza, Bacan, Tikal. So, these are all, like, lost mine cities in, like, the top part of South America. It says we're going to go to Copan, though. Let's, let's try getting to Copan. And yeah, this is literally all I've seen of it. You you go on like a little bike trek. I don't know if we're meant to have like food, supplies, or anything like that, but we're just we're just on the pushy. Oh, and you gotta avoid logs and shit, I suppose. Okay. I mean aesthetically it's pretty cool, but yeah, I still don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh! Straight off the bike. You hit a large log on the road and sprained your wrist. You won't be able to ride as fast engined. Um, oh, we can walk if we really choose. No, let's just keep going. It's a sprained wrist. We'll be right. But, what the fuck was that noise? Okay, I know, I know we're meant to be staying on the path, but it's a little tricky with the way it's gone. We don't get to... It doesn't seem like we can stop or anything. Can't... Oh, nearly hit another log. Okay. I guess... It, yeah, because these, these arcade bits in these games are always a pain in the ass too. Right. No, still riding. Got some... Not a lot of... Uh, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Off the bike again. You hit a rut in the road and broke your front brake pads. You can go to Pogtun, which is 33 kilometers away, to buy the part for $70. Or go to the nearest village, which is 40 kilometers away, and buy the part for $10. Um, okay, let's let's go to Pogtun, I guess. That's definitely closer. Yeah, I, I don't... Like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> um, broke the bike again. Well, hang on. So hang on, are we walking to Pokemon to get the part? Why don't you just pick up the bike and fucking... Okay. Um, yeah, like, I've got no idea what I've got in terms of, like, money. Fucking... I'm riding very slowly because there's... Yeah, how was, how was I supposed to avoid that? Hang on. Yeah, I got no idea what the fuck I'm meant to be doing. All I know is my bike is fucked. And I am driving very... Yeah, like... Okay, so that's just a full-on rut. Yeah, just keep going. Let's see if we can just keep driving until we kill ourselves. <laughs> yep, fuck the bike again. This just makes no damn sense to me. And I haven't... Like, it's not giving me any options. Like, I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm doing the thing. Yep, bike fucked. Wrist fucked. That just did nothing game great yeah yeah like even like i'll point that out as well like the original oregon trail wasn't even on computers it was on um what do you call them like uh, like the old computers that used to use fucking punch cards like it was meant to be like yeah like they programmed the whole thing on oh okay um, you've reached Copan, you spent $325 to get here on the way you bike for 10 hours a day. It took you 110 hours of biking to arrive. So like a full fucking week. We didn't stop to eat or anything like that. Yeah, we, we're going to be chafing something chronic. You have a new message. Alright, what's the message? Uh, the clouds are carved on the body of the cosmic monster. Okay. Can we... Still have no idea what any of these buttons do. Oh, here we go. We got a map. Oh, we're actually at Copan. So we got to go looking for the, um, something on, like, a, a doobie whacker. Okay. Tomb 1, Temple 18. So are we meant to, like, wander around this whole thing? Um, so I guess we got to do that. We got to find some 
thingo uh like a wall piece that's got clouds and apparently that's how we get the code for our thingo right and that so it took us like what did we have 18 days 18 minus 7 so it took us 11 days to get here i mean that's not, that's not too bad for a bike um i guess we can go for a wander okay this is kind of cool though like having actual um what's his face like photographs because i remember we played that game that was um basically like a virtual tour of uh tombstone that was kind of cool um so where are we meant to be going i guess we're meant to just wander around yeah all right we'll head over here to the great plaza i guess we can get out of that there we go kind of cool but and like yeah the, like this uh, like i'm never gonna go to south america or mexico or anything to see the famous you know Inca and mayan temples that are still standing i guess this is the next best thing all right so do we oh we can take photos of stuff okay um something about the great serpent why are we sending this though transmission denied Oh, okay. Guess we're not taking photos of that then. Right, can we... No, hang on. Can we get rid of the camera? We're kind of done with the camera. We don't need it anymore. I want to I wanna leave here. Here, yeah, zoom out. There we go. Oh, this is showing us the... Um, here is what you the can actually go court. to. Ball court. Well, the largest, most elaborately decorated, the ruler 18 Rabbit built this ball court over two earlier ball courts. In Copan's earliest, earliest days, the area was the sacred center to the city. Each new building added energy to this sacred spot. In the ball game, the ball is a symbol of the sun. As it goes up and down, it represents the rising and setting sun. The birds on the benches represent light. The birds on the temple above represent darkness. Okay, you don't want to tell us anything about, like, the history or anything like that? Like, what the point of the ball game was, because, like, most Incan civilizations, like, it was that one you kind of hit it with your elbows and knees, I think. Put it through a hoop, and whoever lost got sacrificed or something like that. I just, yeah, been a while. Yeah, like, this is definitely not, um, we gotta play that again. I, I, I really did enjoy the, um, the Crystal Skull Here when I first played ball it. Court. Yeah, ball court. This is the temple of the hieroglyphic stair. Okay, sma... Da, da. 18 under this... So what are we actually looking for again? We're after... We're after, a, 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 I guess, like a relief of some sort of the uh, cosmic monster. Okay. Um, no idea how we're meant to be finding that. Okay, okay, so we can go a bit further into this, like, plaza here. Just gotta figure out where that is. Compass is saying... Okay, that's east. Okay, so we can go north through the ball court. Check yeah, things out. Oh, okay. Please hurry to Temple 22. We need to know what is floating in the S-shaped clouds on the doorway. So they're just, like, straight up dropping us hints. Okay. Um, Temple 22. So we actually have to go back. Alright. Yep, turn around. Bring up that. So we're heading... Okay, so I guess this is teaching the kids, like, basic pathfinding and using maps and the like as well. So it's saying we can go east. Let's go east. Can we not go... There's a, there's a path there doesn't want to let us go east we can just turn around from here okay and what was over there ah oh, just uh oh it's the bird statues i was talking about okay so still no idea on how i'm meant to be going back the way i came that would have been nice to know yeah you can go through plenty of the um to just inspect all the ball courts i suppose yeah there we go okay we can turn west okay so we're going back the way we came yeah right eh? 
Okay. So now we should be able to go down this other path. Which is, is are we on the right track? We're sort of on the right track, I guess. We're just taking the long way. Yeah, right on. Something fun going on there. It's cool how, like, most of the stuff's, like, relatively intact. I don't know how it'd be in 2023, but in the 90s it's looking pretty good. Um, so we want to go, what, northeast? So up here, I suppose? Yep, yeah, okay, northeast. Keep heading this way. Okay, another crossroad, so we want to keep heading east to get to Temple 22. We they sort of denote all these by numbers as well. Okay, no, we've gone the wrong path. This is the hieroglyphic star, apparently. Okay. And I know that, like, I, I remember there being a lot of Flash adventure games like this, where they just, like, take photos and that's kind of how you get around. Okay. Popolnar? Is this uh, you? Are you tw Temple 22? Uh, apparently not. So we're not meant to be... Hang on. So this is... Okay, we're continuing east. Is this Temple 22? Yeah, alright, here we are. Um... You are looking at the Copan River Valley. Copan River. Okay, alright. Um... This so doorway this is... is in Temple oh, yeah. 22. Hmm. A kneeling figure holds up the cosmic monster. The S-shaped clouds in his body have the ancestors floating in them. The ruler communicates these with the ancestors through ritual. When the ruler stood in the doorway during a ritual, he was at the center of the universe. The ruler is the only person who could control supernatural forces and was the best person to provide for the needs of his people. Right, so okay, this is presumably what we're looking for. Transmission correct. You have a new message. You have a new message. Right, we need an image of something from Uxmal. Okay. This is this is an odd way to figure out like codes and shit. Can we just like is it like a fast travel option? Doesn't look like it. I guess we have to go back to where we were. Which is gonna be <laughs> Yeah, entrance exit, so we wanna head back west. Okay. Um not getting the option to do so from here. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, go down here, keep going west. Like, the actual scenery and stuff around here is pretty nice. I'm gonna give it that. Oh, hello, Mr. Head. Um, can't get past you? No, apparently we can't. Alright, um... No, no, that's, that's where we were. Hang on. Don't, can you stop going forward? You son of a bitch. I wanna go... Uh, yeah, this, is, this looks like stairs to me. Can we go downstairs? Uh, okay, zoom in and zoom in. No, we're just back here. Okay. Can't go... Where the fuck are we? <laughs> I'm so lost. Okay, it's saying we've got like a direct path west. Okay. But it's... This is west. This We're still continuing west, but we can't... Go anywhere else from here? Okay, no, this, so this is the hieroglyphic stair. Okay, so go one back. Go... Yeah, that's so weird. Maybe we'll go, maybe south a little. Will south work? Okay, now we can go... Why, why can't... It's, like, this is annoying. Like, you want to you wanna teach kids map reading and how to navigate and stuff like that. But it's saying we're, like, right on this spot. There is a path west. Doesn't want to let us go west. We can only... From this point, we can only go forwards. It's weird. And yeah, same again. We're stuck next to a head. And we don't even... Yeah, like, that is fucking annoying. Like, you want, you want us to get this code. We only have, like, seven days left. You, you think you'd help me out a little here. And, like, this seems to be a lot of effort considering we're only saving, like, one person in a shuttle as well. That's, that's strange to me. 
Okay, okay, no, no, uh, alright, we're, we're apparently on the right track, we gotta keep heading west. And you can tell, like, 100% tell that's a path. Doesn't want me to go down the path, you've gotta go... Okay, alright, alright, there we go. Keep going, no, that's north, we don't want to go north. Oh, we do want to go north now, okay. Right, back to the entrance. And there is our bike. <laughs> our CG ass bike, fucking look at that thing. Right, so where are we heading next? We're going to Uxmal, which is over here. And this is, yeah, like, I always prefer the, the management side of things to the traveling. This is just, do a mini game where you ride a bike. There's not, you don't have to deal with food or water. Like, yeah, like we spent money trying to do shit, but I've got no idea. Like, are we just fucked if we run out of money? I, I, there's no indication to say where my money actually is. It's a little bit weird. And is there a possibility of fucking up your actual helmet? Because that is kind of the point of a bike helmet. Like, you you hit your head on something, it cracks, and it absorbs the impact. Like, it, it, it's designed to break. Oh, that's that's a matey dono. Holy shit, mate. Welcome in, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> nope. I've been here just being a lazy cat line in bed. Fair enough, I ain't. Yep, yep. Yes. <laughs> Zach Braff definitely had some strange opinions on uh, snuggle struggles. Alright, so Mindred, just keep going with that treatment, mate. You're, you're a big tough bike rider. Just, just get on your bike. Yo, Shin, yo Shinji, get on the push bike. Your dad loves you. Get on the push bike. I don't know if anyone else has seen that, but it's fucking hilarious. That someone did like a four kids intro to um, Evangelion. It's pretty funny. So I think so. This is like uneven ground which you can trip over. This is the safe path. We're getting some logs occasionally. Like this is this is not exciting gameplay. Like, I have my fun riding my push bike and scum, if anything. This is so weird, though. Oh, no, speaking of weird, yeah, I was going to bring out, I've been watching, um... I, I, I found a French anime called Last Man years and years back. And, yeah, for, uh, like, that, that show got weird. That show got really fucking weird and dark. Kind of like, um, like, berserk levels of dark. And... I, I hadn't seen second season though, I'm just watching through. I, I'm watching through second season and reading the actual comic at the same time because the comics, um, the thing is an actual, yeah, the, the series is a prequel. Okay, so we want to go, oh, here we go. You've reached Uxmal. You made it without any costly repairs. On the way, you bike for 10 hours a day. It took you 69 hours, the best number of hours of biking to arrive. But yeah, no, last man was fucking good. Um, I haven't, I, I got two episodes oh, left. Um, oh, the meteorites, oh, the meteorite hits Earth, that's the issue? That's what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> that's it! We failed to do what we were meant to do, and we've, we've just failed. Man, th this sucked. <laughs> this really fucking sucked. Um, so what's on the bookshelves? Just weird 90s people. Like Doug. I'm Doug Mason. I was the Maya Team Quest photographer. Here are some of my favorite moments from the expedition. Um, yep, yeah, make people see how they work. These guys are retired and presumably just doing nothing. Juan Pablo looks into his crystal to discover the nature of his patient's illness. Good to see they got, like, um, free healthcare in South America, even though it is, like, you know, actual witchcraft. Ooh, Jaguar. Cute Jaguar. Um, so I guess they did that. I guess they got paid a heap of money to go to South America, ride bikes, and take photos. Like, that's, uh, that's pretty good for a job. Shame they couldn't make a decent game out of it. On this particular day, I drank five liters of water before noon. Yeah, that's, that's, you're going to be doing some solid pissing after that point, mate. Um, 
Oh, that'd be the worst. Yeah, that, that's probably why I wouldn't want to travel to South America, because it's humid and it's all shit. I hate humidity. Alright, healing crystals. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. What's this was Dan up to? Dan Wetner, expedition leader. Playing play with his giant 90s ass laptop and his giant 90s ass phone. Another Jaguar. Yeah, cute looking bloody Jaguars out there. Gonna eat these chickens. Alright. There's. <laughs> I know it's a crab, but I thought the, they, these were knives and not pincers. I love crabs holding knives. Um, okay, getting that. Oh, she's actually pretty cute. Um, my ancient mind used sunken chambers called chulchens to store things, especially food. I found this one by accident after stepping right into it. Ha ha, I nearly died. Oh, it's a satellite telephone. Look at all the kids just... Look how, how the times have changed. Like, none of these kids give a fuck about the computer. And these days, like, every, every one of those little bars has got their own phone. Oh, well. No, like, the actual background stuff's kind of cool. But yeah, no, let, let's leave it there. This game shit. Fuck you, bike. Stupid bloody bike riders. We outie. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Death Sandals.